Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I'm back with a, a quick little tutorial um, using uh, catalog cards, library catalog cards. So before I do that, if you would indulge me, I just wanted to show you this really lovely gift that I received from my friend Pam. Thank you, Pam. She was inspired by Mrs. Cog and her little covered Altoid tins. Isn't that gorgeous? These colors are just so beautiful and so autumn. And they remind me of Leo when she's got Leo <laughs> or a, a version of Leo on here. Oh no, here he comes. Here he comes. Hi, Lee. I guess you should be here for this. Say hi to Pam. Okay. So, buddy, this isn't going to work out. There's too much little stuff up here. Okay. Can you move along, perhaps? Alrighty. So this is the gorgeous tin, and I have looked inside, but I haven't looked inside the baby one that's in there. Okay. So, oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, vintage thread, and um, some sari stamps, and some beautiful um, trims, and these are glass, beautiful glass. Um, there's a button, and then there's this beautiful glass bead. It makes me think of the cottage. And look at the lace that she sent as well in there. My gosh, you've got a lot in there. Holy cow. And she said she won Nick the Booksmith snippet. And so she was sending me a piece of it. Isn't that awesome? And this beautiful um, silk fabric. It's surprising what you were able to get in here, I have to say, Pam. And this little, gorgeous little book. Lee, darling. Uh, and this must be another one of Nick, piece of Nick's snippet. Isn't that awesome? Awesome. Thank you, Pam. I cannot thank you enough. First of all, for thinking of me. Just thinking of me is gift enough. But that you actually made something for me. I'm just so thrilled. And look at this little one. This is from my business card, and it's Mr. Leo. Oh, my God, that's so cute. Oh, my gosh. Look at the gorgeous buttons, wooden buttons with owls. And little bobs. I love this stuff. So gorgeous. Pam, thank you. You have touched my heart. I really love it. Thank you so much. Okay, now we'll move on. And this, she also sent me this Hex Libris um, sticker. So that's going to go in one of my books. So I was thinking about um, what can I do? I have a bunch of these wonderful catalog cards. Um, they have some age, but not, you know, they're like from the 50s and 60s, 60s. Uh, well, that one's from the 80s. And I thought, what could I do with them? Um, you know, I, I can use them as a, and I've done this before where I've used them just as sort of a, a tuck spot in my journal, like so. For example, I would attach it, you know, decorate it and attach it and then tuck behind it. Just as simple as that. And they're beautiful for that. But I thought, what if, what could we do to just take them to the next level? That, by the way, is my journal that the fabulous Tracy gave me, Tracy Fox. So this is what I did. I kind of set them like so, so that the, the, the blank side on one was butt up against the blank side. Okay, there was a, so that there was a blank side on one side and not on the other. Uh, lots of print on the other. So what I did is I just took them through the sewing machine and I sewed around three sides so that I get a nice opening like that up here. And you could easily use a punch, which I don't have handy, and I've already started, so we're just going to go with it. So I just did three or four of these, and I thought, well, this, is, this would be fun. And sometimes you get one that is something that you don't, um, for some reason, it's, it's not uh, appropriate, the topic, because there's all kinds of books out there. That's a good one to put on the back if it's not, and it allows you to use that card. Okay, so this is what we have. I feel like I'm going to sneeze here. Pardon me. <laughs> Gosh, okay. Can you see him looming? You can see his furry paws there. So, I have all of my fun supplies here. I have labels, I have butterflies, I have botanicals, and I have some scraps of paper. And I'm just going to do, you know, just some random 
some gluing and uh, see where we go. So I'm just using my art glitter glue, but you could easily use um, whatever glue you have. And I think this would be a good one for glue stick as well. But I like the idea of just kind of covering the name of people. Uh, I like keeping the, the numbers though. I really like keeping the numbers. And um, let's see, what do we have here for labels? Oh, I love this. I love this label. So if we did something like that, and then I like having a bit of the butterfly go over the side. So if I, that would be a great, I think, that would be a great little tuck spot. So I'm just going to put some glue on here. And I don't want to cover that number. So, and I like keeping within so that you can see the stitching as well. Pardon me, did I bring scissors out here? <laughs> I know I had scissors here a minute ago. Oh. I wonder if they're under all of this stuff. What can I say? Anyway, guys, I hope you've all been well. I had a just fantastic summer. What can I say? Just the best, absolute best summer. Well, normally I would have that go right over the side, but I can't find my scissors, so I'm gonna keep it within the within the constraints of that, so that we have a tuck spot. Yeah, it was the best summer. Um, having the cottage, uh, which I feel very privileged to be able to have, um, it's something my hubby and I have wanted to be able to to do um, our whole marriage, and we've been married for. 34 years. So, yeah, pretty awesome. So, I wish that kind of happiness for you if it's something you within your reach. I know it's not for everybody. Um, so, that would be a pocket, and then what I would do is I would put a um, like a tag in, like so. And let me show you, like, with my book here, if you can see, okay. So I would probably, in this case, just, you know, like, I don't think I would bother even to attach it because I like the idea that you could write on the back. So I would put it in like so, and then you've got a, you've got a spot on the back for journaling, and you've got that. So we'll stick that there for now. And I wondered about, because I have this tag that goes sideways, what if we were, I think it'll fit in, it will. What if we were to do one that was oriented this way? I think that would be kind of fun too. What have I got here for paper? I've got some of that green. I love, love having that green paper. If I do that, then I still keep the number. So we'll do something like that. So yeah, I hope you all had a great summer. We, uh, and I, gosh, I'm thinking about those folks in the Bahamas and in Florida, and we've got a cyclone warn warning for the weekend here. We're supposed to get some of the effects of Dorian. And I just hope everybody is safe and well. Um, you, can't, you can't mess with those. When you get that kind of a warning, you can't mess with it. You've got to, you got to go. Uh, when they tell you to evacuate, you really do have to move along and uh, protect yourself and your family. That's the most important thing. So I think the red's a little too dark for my taste for this. Um, sorry, I'm just going through some things over here. That could work. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? I have all kinds of cool things in here. Lots of Tracy. That one's kind of cute, isn't it? What if we did something like that? Or do we want it the other way around? That's kind of nice. I like it that way. So I'm just going to glue like so. And do 
goes down around here. And the nice thing about doing some decorating on these is that what it does is it takes the emphasis, the words become kind of a background neutral, which is really nice. And it takes the emphasis away from words and puts the emphasis on the imagery, which I think is really lovely to do. So, let's just ink this up. And you don't have to ink, that's just up to your personal style. What you like to do. I like for the edges for the botanicals, I think that's fun to do. So, like so. And what occurs to me now as I look at this, <laughs> Um, I have some, oh dear, Andy, you don't have any scissors, Andy, do I have a small piece of anything? Oh, there we go. So, oh my goodness, that's seat of your pants crafting, isn't it? So what if we put like a piece of fabric like here, um, just, you know, just to zhuzh it up a little there. Have you heard anyone say zhuzh in the last little while? And then that can go in there. And I really love that. So that that's how fast it is, guys. You don't have to do anything super fancy. You can do these things really quickly. That is Miss Stella making some noise there. So then you can just clip it. I don't know if you, well, you can't really see there. Let's see, let's open it to a bigger spot. Here we go, bigger clip. So then you could just clip it at the back of your journal, or anywhere in your journal. Isn't that cute? Like, I really love that. I love the sideways one for those. I think that's a really fun way to do it. How are we for time? We're good. Well, let's decorate a couple more. Okay, I want to do something, I have some things there with words, but then I'm like, why would I cover words with more words? Let's go for something plainer. That's what's going through my mind anyway. Just grabbing some paper here. Okay, so I've got this piece of paper. I don't want to cover... I don't like a, I don't want a sharp edge, so I'm just going to put some glue on that. You hear Stella there, she's scratching. Stella, hey, <laughs> what's up? What's up, buddy? She stopped and looked at me as if to say, what? This is my time. Okay, let me see, what have we got here? I like this little... Love these new ones. I think this one's Graphics Fairy, but um, which they're awesome. Awesome, awesome. So, do I want to do another sideways one? Yeah, I do. I want to put that there. <laughs> I haven't even set down any flowers or anything, but I just know I want to put that one there. So, we're going to set that down. So, yes, guys, my youngest son got married this weekend. And the kids are all in wonderful marriages and relationships. And how lucky are we to, oh my gosh. Anyway, such good kiddos. And they're what, I think it's so joyful to see them together. I mean, Andrew and I had an awesome time at the wedding. Um, but for me... Some of the best parts were watching them with their siblings and watching them with their, I want to put that there, watching them with their siblings and with their partners and with each other. Like all six of them genuinely love each other. I have three kids and they're all married up now and all of them and their partners are super, super um, uh, fun together. So. I just find that to be very, very, uh, just a lucky thing for us to have have them all be so compatible. Isn't that cute? I'll put two together. 
why not? Make a little flower garden. We've done that sort of thing before. So yeah, I like putting some things on, but I don't want to cover it entirely because I like the integrity. I want to keep the integrity of what it was because what it was was quite is quite beautiful too. Um, and that way it still looks vintage. I mean, if I were just going to cover it entirely up, I would just use cardstock. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to um, cover up a card catalog card entirely. It just feels like a waste of a really beautiful resource. So I wonder about, do I, have that? I want to put a, a tag. Okay. So when I do these, these are whale's tail uh, from the Stampin' Up uh, uh, punch. And it is hard to get a hold of. It is, you can't find it on eBay and it's very expensive when you do. Um, um, I hate to remember, well, I know I spent a lot for mine, but I knew I would use it a lot, and I just love the look of it. So, so I want this to be able to go in there. So that's what I do. I ink around, I fold it, and then I ink the crease, and then I just put glue around both sides because it's gluing to both sides of the image. And then I go like so, and press it down. <laughs> I just did it backwards. I should have put it on this side to go in there. But you know what? Who says you can't put it in backwards, right? Yeah. Yeah. Gail, I think I, I had one of your, as you call it, the bumbling crafter, which by the way are kind of some of my favorite moments. So there it is there. And then you can journal on the back. And if I had another piece, it's not, oh, oh, seriously, that was just luck because quite frankly, uh, that was not planned. <laughs> and then that can go like so. And you could put a charm on it. And then that's gonna go in a journal. So I think we'll stop there. Um, and give it a go, guys. These are lots of fun to work with. Uh, and there's lots that you can do with them. This is just sort of, you know, my interpretation uh, of an option. And like I said, you could use your punch and do a little divot there, which would be nice as well. So there you go. I have three. Let me get the other two out, if I can find them. Well, at least I'll get one of them out. <laughs> Um, that we've done together. Very quick and easy craft uh, and something anyone, anyone can make. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, I hope you're well. Stay well. Stay dry this weekend. Looks like it's going to be a wet one. Take care everybody. Bye.